It's broken, it's broken. Hi everyone, good morning. I don't know if you can hear me better, but I hope. Uh, Uy, Dana Jones, good morning. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Long time no see. How are you, Dana? Thank you so much, Joe and Jenny. Good morning, sir. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Oh my God, I play my own videos. It's not good. Good morning, Dana. Wait lang guys ha, I'm just trying to fix my ano. There. <laughs> Akala ko ano na, wait lang. Kumusta ka kaibigan? Magandang umaga sa iyo, Tamsakdan. Thank you so much, Sir Joe and Jenny Journey. Good morning to you. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for visiting my live stream. Hey, M&M, how are you doing? Donna Jones, thank you so much. I am doing well, but I'm going back to the mountain tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to be traveling again to go back to the mountain, and then I will be back here. Um, after my dad's birthday. Kuya Gorge, hello, hello. Kuya Gorge, I know Celsius is not done yet. I'm still um, on her live actually. So it's okay, but thank you so much, Kuya Gorge. I hope you are doing okay there. I'm great. I never miss your live. <laughs> I was sometimes, I don't message because I'm watching you on my TV. My God, I'm so ugly to watch in TV. Dana, thank you so much, Sir Dana. Thank you, thank you so much. I think apartments is good business if you get good renters. Well, you are right about that, Kuya Gorge. Wait lang, ha? I need to say bye-bye to Sess. Gotta go. Because my laptop is getting slow if I open a lot of tabs here on my laptop. Do you have motorbike? Yes, of course, Kuya Girls. Um, I'm still using the Mio, the Mio 125S. So um, if you do remember, I changed or sell my 150 click Honda. And then I swap into the, the lower um, engine or the lower CC, which is the 125 and it's a little bit smaller compared to the the old one and so far i got a lot of <laughs> um what do you call that bruises on that 
meal is because when I travel, it's always raining and I can see the road. It's flooding all over, especially in Bayawan. So the last time I traveled, it's really freaking like flooding all around. You can't even see the, the road. So it's full of water and you don't know that there is some like under construction or holes or, you know. So yeah, I got, I fell up on the bike and then I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still alive. No, I see Cess all the time, but I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Wait, that's okay, Kuya Gors. Thank you so much. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. They have the same birthday with my dad. So my dad's birthday will be on Tuesday, July. No, not July. August 10. Happy birthday to your mom, Dana Jones. Sirix. Good morning, Sirix. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you, huh? Sirix Black, how are you? I don't think you shared your motorcycle with us. Yeah, I haven't posted yet a video, I guess. But and even a picture of it. So I'm really sorry about that. So yeah, maybe soon. Oh, that's a good uh, suggestion, Koya Gors. I'm going to show you about, uh, I'm going to make a video about the new motorbike. Valex, thank you so much, Valex. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Scorpion, where have you been? <laughs> it's been a long time that I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. I hope everything is doing okay, Scorpion. Doing good, Koya Gors. Uh, for today, guys, uh, we're going to, to talk about um, apartments, board, boarding house, lodging house here in Dumaguete or any parts of the Philippines. Do you think it, it's, it, it is a good business, guys? For me, it is. It's a good investment. Wait, no. <laughs> but ka nawawala. My laptop is so annoying. It's very laggy. Lag, 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 loading. Alright. Doing good, Kuya Gords from Zurich's Vlog. Hey, sister, how are you? Good morning, Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. Good morning. How are you, Sean? Hey, Scorpio on Zurich's Vlog. Can I? That's fine. Hey, Scorpion Sirix Vlog from Sean William. Hi, Kuya Gords from Sean William. Hi, Sean William from Sirix Vlog. Uy, yes, mo kems dong! <laughs> Seriously, you notice the holes on my jeans, uh, on my picture. Thank you so much, yes, mo kems. How are you, guapa? How are you? Long time no si guapa. Um, I just got back from the mountain. I, I'm going back to the mountain tomorrow, so... Have a safe trip to me. <laughs> hey, Sean William from Koya Girls. Hello, Sean from Scorpio. And harang dan kaibigan. Thank you, Do Joe and Jenny, for not skipping my ads, guys. I really appreciate you for not skipping my ads. So, my Wi-Fi is revolting. That's why maybe because um, I experience here, like, logging or anything like that. Anyway. Hello, pretty Eminem. Zeke Man, hello. Good morning, sir. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Do you have a different motorcycle, M? Because I saw my, I saw your motorcycle before when you get it new. When you get it new. Okay, I have the Honda Click, the big one. Honda Click 150. And I just have a hard time to manage on the throttle because I'm just, I'm not, that is, uh, this is the first time that I learn or i drive motorcycle guys so i don't know how to ride a motorcycle i just learned it when when mark gave me this um uh, christmas gift of mine so and it's a big one and i am short and small so i have to sell it okay i have to sell it and change into the smaller one so yeah i sell it that motorcycle and then I bought another one, the small one, the one to five. The mall. <laughs> Safe travel from Koya Gorge. Hello Koya Gorge and William, Joe and Jenny from Zikman. 
I watch two ads completely. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Rick's Vlog. Thank you for not skipping my ads, everyone. Hello there, Zekman from Kuya Gorge. Good evening, Zekman. Hello, Joe from Shannon William. Shannon William. Hello, Sister Emin of Journey. They was fine. Okay. Do you think, guys, is an apartment is a good uh, business? So, for me, it is, guys. Maybe you are going to spend a lot of money for that. It's depend on what kind of boarding house or there are different kinds of um, apartments or, you know, uh, either you, you will do the boarding house, you will do the apartment. So, apartment, it's kind of, like, expensive to start because you need to spend a lot of money for that. But if it talks about boarding house, um, especially when the class will be open again face-to-face, -face, a lot of people, especially here in Dumaguete, guys, a lot of province people, they were going to uh, come here to, to have their study. And the number one problem that they have, they don't have a place to stay. So it's going to be very good investment or gonna be very um useful if you have your boarding house so boarding house and lodging house is different from apartment so apartment it's kind of like expensive so for those people who are from the provinces different provinces different mountains they can't afford for the apartments that's why there's a lot of boarding house here so that like um it's just only 2000 per month or sometimes they have a bed space, like bed spacer, uh, one room, one CR, and then there are four or either two of them shared one room. So it has two to four beds inside the room. So they're going to share each other and then they have the common CR. So and that is equivalent for like 1000 per month per, per head. So it's per head, guys, not per room. So if you wanted to be in solo, if you wanted to have a privacy, you can take the whole room, which is equivalent of four person. So you need to pay um like four thousand pesos if that per bed or per head is one thousand pesos. So it's gonna be helpful to those students, especially they have a group of friends. There are four of them, or you know. They know each other so they can share one room anyway sir darren good morning sir darren thank you so much and it was my first time on your live stream yesterday good evening sean from joe and jenny sige sige thanks for explaining <laughs> sir next vlog i'm gonna take a video of my new motorcycle it's actually that's not the very new because i've been using that one for like a couple of months already i've got already the registration I love from Toronto, Canada, from Sir Darren. Sir Darren, thank you so much. I have to smash the like button. Thank you, thank you so much for the thumbs up, guys. Hello, all beautiful people in the chat. Usually, it's a great long-term invest investment. But guys, we have a lot of over in the Philippines, especially if you guys wanted to start a business, which is an apartment, lodging house, or any boarding house. Um, you can start, actually, if you don't want to... To, if you're not sure yet about uh, what you are start uh, you are going to do or if you are just experimenting guys you can start with the light materials okay made of plywood woods or yeah and usually 1000 to 2000 per month per room but you know you cannot if you are just still in wanted to experience if how does that business going or is it worth it things like that okay vegan any word on any damage from uh, okay vegan any word on any damage from up no, north in the zone region po sad to say joe and jenny journey uh, they have a very high um case right now the ncr so uh, with the uh, coronavirus and i think they will get back to modified enhanced community quarantine 
So I'm not from Luzon. I'm here in Visayas. So I pay more attention in Cebu and here in Negros Oriental. I sent you five pesos because I skipped you. <laughs> or Dana, thank you so much, Dana. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It takes money to make money. The better place you buy or build, the more you rent you get. Okay, the most convenient or the most useful one, if you wanted to start an apartment, um, it should be close to school, uh, very convenient to the mall, restaurant, things like that. But you cannot find any cheap property if you are near to the city. So you can, the farther the less, you know. Uh, the common mistake that they made uh, here is if they are it's just based on observing um, they have an apartment uh, which is nearby with the school or colleges hospitals and malls but they have a very high price they have a very high price so uh, not a lot of people so for those who are people working in here they are not originally <laughs> from here in Dumaguete they are came from different provinces. They are from Bayawan. Some of them, they are from Bacolod. They are from Negros Occidental. So they need a place to stay. And they need, since they're just working, not really high salary, uh, they need like a very, not that expensive. Let's say for example, um, 1,000 to 2,000 pesos. You know, because most apartments here, um, it costs you 10,000 pesos. Uh, 10,000 to 7,000 pesos. That's the price range of the apartments here. If you have a bad looking place, the renters will not take care of it and it will look even worse. Now, if you have this kind of business, you should be prepared that there's different kinds of renters, guys. You know, oh, my, my coffee is getting... Okay, there's different kinds of renters, and you should be ready for that. Of course, uh, there is a good renter, like paying on time, paying on time, and <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't ask the tenants or the boarders that wanted to stay if they are good renters or not. So, be prepared. Apartment for students, I think you should have a dorm mom to keep their them and check yes actually there is a dorm here like um for those universities that is known here uh private schools like siliman university um saint paul university is be um what do you call that for those expensive one so they have they have dorm but not a lot of mommies can afford you know to to let their children stay or to let their, yeah, at the dorm because it's gonna be expensive too. Hello, Darren Dobson from Koyagor. Salamat po for coming to my LS. Next time you are welcome to join my phone and God bless you, sis. I'm shy, sir Darren. <laughs> Kuya Gorge from Darren. Hi, Darren from Sean William. Hello, Sean. Hi, Joe. Hi, Darren from Joe and Jenny. Salamat kay Vegan. Did you get that? I did not check it but let me check here but Donna thank you so much for Donna thank you thank you so much wait oh thank you so much for Donna that's not five pesos <laughs> thank you thank you so much a 14 years old Chinese girl just did perfect 10 seconds dive from three story tall platform a platform at Olympic, she is amazing. Oh, is that on the Olympics right now? Oi, Ma'am Sun Spark, good morning. Kumusta, bip bip. So, reflect, thank you so much. Ma'am Sun Spark, thank you so much. High salary? What's high salary? Smokens dong, thank you so much dong. It's vegetable store, Smokens. <laughs> 
silly. Hoy, hi girl on the fire. Good morning, Miss Emma and everyone in the chat. Hoy, hindi pa ako nakapag-check sa channel mo. Ang unfair ko, di ba? Kumusta ka na? Is mo cancel a brother from Darren? I girl, make a love shout out from Darren. If I have that for student, I will hire you to live there for, for free and be boss lady. Guys, you should be careful on if you're going to have a caretaker with your apartments or your house. Because as what I have said, guys. And then, <clears throat> okay, based on observing, I was a renter and I was the one who taking good care of the boarding house on my previous uh, boss. They have this, actually, it was a lodging house, guys lodging house for short term like that if you wanted to get just for like an hour or a couple of hours and then it's just made of like materials and the room is kind of like 2000 pesos per room and it's made of plywood it's like materials okay so but the urn i i mean i was the one who is collecting the money and i was the one who paying for the bills so for the 2,000 pesos that is including for the bills already, so they are all free now. So they are all free for the electricity if they wanted to use it and the water also as well. So, and they earn pretty much, I mean, they earn big profit for that. Yeah. So, uh, but I experienced a lot of renters, different kinds of renters. So, okay, there are some drug dealers you should be careful if you're owning um, apartments because if you should monitor your tenants, unnecessary movements, <laughs> unnecessary um, visitors or things like that because it's going to be happening just like here. And I don't want to share, I share a lot of information about where I am right now. And then there are some that I encounter also like alcoholic. So they are tenants and they get home for like, uh, they, are, they, they, they went to the bar and they came home late, like around 2 a.m., 1 a.m. And they're going to be noisy. They're going to be um, like, you know, wild, getting wild there and disturbing a lot of tenants also. So that's going to be your problem also. Sorry, Dara, hello from Iger. I am a poor American man and five pesos is all I have. <laughs> hey, Dana, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hi, Darren from Esmukens. It's okay, don't check. Di naman yun active. Why? Bakit? Why? You should be uh, no, active kasi you have a lot of friends na. So they can support each other. They can support each other. They can support the you na. Hey, yeah, I got on fire from Koya Gors. Koya Gors, I changed it back to I got on fire. Yeah, I noticed. Shout out sa lahat from Mom Sun Spark. Good morning, Mom Sun Spark. Thank you so much. I like it, I got on fire. Hey there again, Koya Gors. Esmo Kams and Dana Jones, hello from I girl. Mom Sun Spark, thank you so much. Ha. Mom Sun Spark, hello. So, Rick's plug, hello. John Jenny, hello. So, yes. Wait now. And then the runner, guys. Runner. When I say a runner, is okay. They will say that um, they were going to have a vacation. And then, um, what do you call that? I was talking about the different kinds of renters that you will be encounter if you. I think this, this is not only in the Philippines. Um, I guess some of the um, business owners, for those who have apartments and boarding house or any hotels, experience this also. Like, they will go out, they were going to say, I'll just pay you next year, uh, next month, or next week. And then when they go out, they are getting or they are bringing their stuff slowly. And then when you are about to ask them about the payment, they're not there already anymore. So there's no uh, things left because they brought all their things out of that room. And you have no uh, contacts because some apartments, guys, they are not, some boarding house, they are not requiring 
for the information or profile um, with our tenants. So they're not asking information. They're not asking for the what's the job, what is things like that, a profile. Common mistake. Sean William, hello. Okay. Um, Sigman, hello from Iger. Moms and Sports, salamat ah. Iger, thank you, Scorpion and Balix. Balix Prime, hello from Iger. It's Rick's vlog, hello, Iger. Sigman, Sir Sigman, thank you so much. If you want to drop your link, guys, let me know, ha. Huh? I'm gonna make you blue. And that is okay, guys. Checking from St. Petersburg's. Florida, Sir Fred, wait, wait, wait. There is something pop up here. Checking from, ah! Bakit kasi nag-a-active to? I miss you, Sir Freddy Sanders. Thank you so much. It's so hot, guys. Wait. Okay. Sobrang hot kasi grabe. Thank you so much, Sir Freddy. How are you today? Thank you, thank you so much for being here. I hope you are doing okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time here with me. Sir Freddy, hello from Iker. Asma Kims, how are you? Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Oi, Murad. Thank you so much, Murad. How are you, Murad? Okay. It happens here, guys. So our ten, our caretaker here. I'm just observing her. She's not around. She's not live here. So what happened is there are some tenants that always told her, "Oh, I'm just gonna pay you next month. I'm just gonna pay you double next month." And then I was just observing this tenants when she go out. It's been two months that she haven't paid yet, and the month rent here is four thousand pesos. So I just noticed when she go out um she have a big bags like a traveling bag so i was telling the caretaker that you should be um checking her often because i just noticed that she is silently moving you know so yeah so the caretaker right now she have a big problem because that tenants left for the two months of rent that she haven't paid yet and then she left one month rent in advance before moving in. Yeah. But there are some here that they are not requiring for the tenants. Um, it's kind of like uh, if you wanted to stay, pay now, then pay for one month, and then stay. Things like that. So, and a lot of tenants take advantage for that. And I'm not against with those owners, like they were requiring for advance payment or deposit, but it's for security, I guess. So we have another tenant here, the destroyer guys. Okay, this is the common problem also, just like if you have an apartment. So they are going to change or adding some stuff on your inside the room. So going your, sometimes they are going to write a lot of things on the wall, vandalism, you know, and then they are going to put a lot of nails and anything like that, concrete nails. And obviously, <clears throat> when they left, uh, they, they left also um, damage <laughs> on your room, so you need to fix for it. You need to fix for it. Doing good, been gone for a while. I'm I just got back also, Sir Freddy. I went to the mountain and I, 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 what do you call that? I stayed there for like two weeks and I couldn't make a live stream there because it's very noisy, guys. It's raining a lot there. The reason I said noisy, it's because the rain drops. So our house has no ceiling. So if there is a rain, the raindrop is very noisy. <laughs> I go on fire. You are talented on guitar. I hope you can get one to play more. I really wanted to learn also to play in guitars, but it's really complicated to 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 learn by yourself. Murad, thank you so much, Murad. Murad, hello from Igor. Igor, salamat ha. Hi, Eminem. Hope you are okay. Yes, I am fine. Murad, thank you so much, Murad. 
I'll get the rent from uh, her for you. Oh, no, not 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 me. I'm not the one who is taking care here. But oh, are you talking about the one that I managed before? Murad Ellis tonight? I don't think so. <laughs> He's here. Girl on fire. Hello. Salamat ko ya girls. I will. I sure will. After finish working on my school activities from I girl. Darren, yes, I am 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you're gonna do live stream. You can drop your 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 link here, Murad. It's okay. Sorry, guys, if I'm not that really active lately, guys, because I'm spending my time with my family. So I hope you understand. That's what you need the security deposit for, the cover damage. However, with the worst tenants, the security deposit won't even begin to recover the damage that they do to the an apartment. Okay, it happens here also. Sir Thomas Crown, shout out to you. Good morning. Okay, uh, they're a group of students. So they are gays. Okay, I'm not saying they're bad, but sort of. Okay, they were telling the tenants... Uh, I just noticed them that they are going to use the aircon 24 hours or more than that. They are bringing their friends over and it's going to be very disturbing, guys, because they're going to be drunk and making noise, singing. And this apartment, this is not apartment actually, but this is just only a pad. So it's not made of concrete. All of the wall is concrete. There are some part that is made of hardy plates. Um, and then... Uh, they are using the aircon 24 hours and they are about to leave. They are telling the critic already that we're just going to stay here one more month and then we're going to go back to the Pollocks. They are from the Pollock. Now, what they did, they write a lot of things in, in the wall. They destroyed the CR, the toilet. They put a lot of napkins. They put a lot of top. They, they put a lot of tissue and wipes on the toilet and then also they destroyed everything and you know their bill when they have their bill i've got the bill so i was just checking i know it's kind of like it's everyone privacy i mean i don't need to i mean i checked their the bills you know how much the bills ten thousand pesos and the deposit payments or the deposit cash here is just 4,000 pesos. Now, the electricity bill is uh, 10,000 pesos. The water bill is 500 pesos. So the deposit is not enough and the payment advance is not enough to pay those um, uh, things that they left. Yahoo party at Murad from Darren. Darren, thank you so much for that. Oi, yup. Manok na hilaw. Good morning, Manok na hilaw. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, po. Just 30 minutes from Murad. Guys, feel free to join Murad. Uh, he will gonna do live stream and also Sir Darren, guys. I don't know if Sir Darren will gonna do live stream later. Eminem family first. Yes, guys. Um, and I just have some preparation for my dad's birthday uh when i say preparation i was looking for a pig <laughs> i was looking for a pig guys an alive pig so i found it and we were gonna make a on this coming august then and enjoy the family just happy to see you are well thank you sir darren thank you so much everyone for the understanding let to stay active so you don't lose subscribers yes i need to and that's why um i'm doing live stream right now <laughs> and also sir freddy is i need to monitor also and be active on youtube because um my watch hour is getting low or getting smaller so every 365 days our watch hour for those monetized channel will be uh, back to zero <laughs> will be back to zero so that's why we need to be active again and again i mean the 14 years old Jane is get another perfect pen dive. She joined diving team to make money for her sick mom. In China, her diving isn't available. Are you watching TV right now, sir? Koya Gorbs? Can you report them to the police? Now, this is the common mistake here. 
with the tenants, I mean with the caretaker, because she don't even know our name, our real name, our information. So upon staying here, she don't ask anything. She don't ask for names, our jobs, our source of income, any any information that she can, uh, she will have. Even the contact information, she don't have. So every time we have a problem here, just like a problem with the, the faucet and the CR, it's really hard to get a hold of her because she changing her name. Uh, she changing her number. So it's really hard to contact her. Murad, thank you so much, Murad. My next LS is Sunday, 10 a.m. Tennis time. Murad and I don't do LS on the same night. Oh, that's nice. Murad, oh, okay, from Koya Girls. I am watching Olympic listening to you. <laughs> Koya Girls, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Koya Girls. Okay, the noisy one, guys. This is a common problem also, especially if you have um, a foreigner renters. They don't like noisy and some of your tenants they're gonna do karaoke they're gonna do um laughing talking so loud they're gonna have their very loud music at the early morning and what do you call that it's gonna be a problem because the tenants the other tenants will be disturbed the other tenants will be disturbed and um they were gonna complain about you that ah uh, can you please warn the the other tenants in there that just lower the voice, just um, lower the music if they play music, things like that. Because over here, guys, we have um, what do you call that? In Australian, it's um, it's like a foreigner who is an Australian, and then he was complaining a lot when we have a Black American here. So there is another. Wow, I've got my bill. <laughs> Did you just send it right now? Your sky electronic statement is blah, blah, blah. Okay. No wonder why is it my internet getting slow. Lolam Stevie, hello. Good morning. Salamat po. Thank you so much for being here. Kumusta po? So we have a black American here uh, way back uh, two years ago. And every time they have a fight with his wife, they're gonna ruin things like throwing a lot of things on the wall, shouting, hurting each other like physically. And I can obviously hear them make love. <laughs> You're gonna be very, very noisy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, hey right, guys, thank you. Huh? Thank you so much. No love, Stevie. Shout out to you. Good morning. Kumusta po? Murad, thank you so much, Murad. Thank you, thank you so much. And that black American is kind of like very noisy when he talks and uh, when when he shouts. And I can even hear his voice when I stayed on the last room. So that is everyone problem when you stay here so a lot of us all of us complaining good morning beautiful m how are you doing today mike in the philippines lv in canada good morning kuya mike how are you kuya mike good morning kuya mike how are you you got this yes i got that kuya filipino tv good morning sir Kumusta ka dyan, Kuya Philip? Thomas Crown, hello from iGirl. iGirl, salamat ha. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, Kuya Mike, hello from iGirl. Hi, Dana. Hi, iGirl. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, hi, Dana, iGirl. Dana, thank you so much and great things. Do you, uh, Kuya Mike, do you have any boarding house or apartments in here in the Philippines? 
if you have how was the income a hello beautiful oh love ilocana hello good morning love ilocana thank you so much for being here salamat po kumusta po Hi, beautiful lemon and journey. Nice to see you again. Welcome back, my friend. No, Dave. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Dave. How are you, Dave? It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. Kumusta? Love, hello, kana, hello from I, girl. We, we talk about, um, uh, what do you call that? We just talk about apartment or boarding house, guys. Uh, yeah. And different different renters you know and we also encounter here like a renter so here where i am every time they make love they are very very noisy oh my gosh and it's very embarrassing when when <laughs> you're gonna do that because it's a daytime and nighttime daytime nighttime afternoon time we can hear them my gosh and it's just very embarrassing because most of the tenants here are boys. So when I go out because I don't want to hear them, I can see the other boys are smiling. <laughs> I miss you, I'm an journey. I miss you too, Dave. Thank you so much. No, I don't. I only have goats, ducks, turkey, cows. Oh, like how many? Like how many? Um that's a good business actually for now, Mike in the Philippines. Because the cows and goats especially if you have a chicken native uh, native uh, chicken farm right now so the chicken the native chicken right now is pretty high still so there is no um i just observed that there is the the prices of the native chicken right now is not getting low mm, hi i girl from Dave points and song they thank you so much Hello, I go on fire. I like your name. <laughs> on fire. I love on fire, especially in relationship. Fire, English relationship. Sana all my fire, no? Oi, love, Ilocana. Salamat po. Thank you so much. Hi, love, Ilocana from Day Points and Song. Last update. <laughs> the 14 years old Chinese diver won gold medal in women's platform diving. It's pretty, I know, that's a good gift for her mom. Oh my God. Even me, I don't know. I'm 27 years old and don't know how to swim. 14 goats. Oh my gosh. Four cows, two that are pregnant. 14 goats. So you are... Do you have a huge farm here in Dumagati or in Manoyod, Mike in the Philippines? Love Ilocana, thank you. I love yours too. Ilocana. Ilocana. So you says live stream. Nice to, to meet you. Love Ilocana. Oh, oh, nakita ko rin siya doon. Wait lang. Asa ba yung ano? Lots of land in the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty, uh, advantage if i mean it's a good advantage if you have your own land because you know you can they can free they can eat there for free <laughs> i mean they can just walking around for free unlike if you are just um feed them like um buy them on on the neighborhood land so some people will gonna say oh take your cow away or tarabao away because they were scared that your cow or tarabao will eat their rice, corn, farm, things like that. So, and it happens to us um, lately, I paid uh, the damage of what our tarabao eat or in the sugar cane, guys. And it's not that much, actually, but the owner is just very sensitive so i paid 1500 pesos just for the few few sugar cane that our caracol eats 
Hello the poems and song and uh, from Love Ilocana. May asawa showering the gold. <laughs> really? You don't have to actually. You don't have to uh, what do you call that? Um put them on the water every day. Especially for the goats. They're afraid of water. Hala, exotic Filipina, madam, good morning. I think it could be a really good business, especially when the world opens. Exotic Filipina, madam, good morning. Wait lang. Wala, uh, ano lang to. <laughs> There's no serious topic here. Actually, it was a serious one, but medyo busy yung mga tao. Oh, oh, it's very, I know, it's very, um, it's a good business, guys. Especially when... The face-to-face -face class will be open again. I'm telling you, it's a good business. They love it, they move, huh? They love it, they don't move. Wow. Wow. Talaga? As far as I know, goats don't like to, to have a shower or to get wet. Yeah, that's what I know. Exotic Filipina from Iger. Hey, mom, Exotic Filipina, thank you so much. Ha. Thank you, thank you so much. I rented two houses way back 2018 to 2022, and the rooms is uh, Airbnb for the international tourists, and I was able to get good money from that, and I was able to pay bills and enjoy hosting. Actually, if you have a huge house here and you have some extra, um, some extra rooms, that's pretty uh, good business also, but you should be careful because you are live with your tenants, you know, and um, there's not always good tenants, guys. <laughs> Sometimes, especially if they're staying inside your house, some of them, they were going to steal things. Okay, but that's a good one because you don't have to submit a permit. So once you are starting a business that's huge, um, big, like um, boarding house, even it's just made of like materials, um you need to have a permit for that i mean there's nothing wrong not to get a permit but you have those competitors you have your jealous neighbors we're gonna complain about it or we're gonna uh, what do you call that you want sell us ba just go and then we're gonna report you that you are running illegal business that is illegal if you don't have um you don't have any uh, no, you don't have any permit from the BIR. So they were gonna report you that you are running illegal business, which is a boarding house. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan. Some people don't understand that kasi if you are going to get a permit of the uh, let's say for example you have a boarding house which is made of light materials and then um let's say for example you have only ten ten rooms and it's not earning pretty much i mean it's not all occupied and every year you are going to renew the permit the bir permit so yung iba kasi hindi nakakaintindi she was been washing them since babies used to it ah okay yeah nice to to meet you a girl on fire we match our name love fire is very good idea right what do you think <laughs> Oy, sinong tumboy sa kanit sa inyong dalawa? Oy, sis, good morning, Ayo, Sister Avila, good morning. Napaalam na ako dun sa iyo kasi kailangan kong buhayin yung channel ko. Dahi. It's very ano na, it's dying na. Sis, salamat sis ha. Balex, thank you so much, Balex. Sounds good. Love you, Lakana. Beautiful sis, hello again. Sis, ang cute ng name mo, no? Four letters lang. <laughs> Hindi nakakatamad sa Latin. Anyway, so yun na nga guys, um, you need to get a permit for your business, uh, for your boarding house. And <clears throat> it just depends on how big your boarding house is. Tama ba ako? So the, the bigger, let's say for example, you have an apartment. So it's going to be more payments. It's going to be more payments. And actually, I uh, know. A girl on fire, Balix. Hello from Sustrava. I should change my name to Love too. Love on fire. Yes. Oh oh. <laughs> oh oh. Love on fire. I, I girl. Love on fire. 
Love you, Lucana Mike in the Philippines. LV in Canada. Hello from the Strava. Oy, one hour lang ako, guys, ha? And I'm going, uh, uh, tomorrow, I can't support your live stream anymore, guys, if you will have your live stream tomorrow, because I'll go back to the mountain tomorrow, guys. Yeah. And I was busy also looking something on live, uh, I mean, online, because I really need to get a job. Hello, Madam Sis Travel Vlogs from La Vilocano. Oy, sis, get well soon. Ang mahal noon. Grabe. Ang mahal noon. I'll go with apartment business. Oo, that's, that's, ano, uh, you're gonna spend a lot from the start, okay? Uh, building, you know, but later on, you will get more. You will get more. I think it's a good, in, uh, I think it's, it is a good investment. It is. It is. I'm telling you guys, it is. Even though it's just a made of like materials, it is a very good investment. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's not like the other businesses. Like if you're going to start a sari sari store, there will be get uh, there will be a big chance that you will get bankrupt or any kind of business. But here on, um, what do you call that? Here on apartments and boarding house, oh my god! I'm telling you, the the the, especially you're in Dumaguete, there's a lot of people coming from different provinces, and different, what do you call that, mountains. So, students, for me, if I wanted to start a business, uh, especially for just like this renting. I would go to the uh, friendly budget boarding house uh, for the students. Yeah. Dumaguete City is the main city of Tam Second Harang Eminem Journey. How are you doing? Wait, Gary! <laughs> it's been a long, 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 long time. I haven't seen you. How are you? I hope you are doing okay. Okay, uh, let's go get, get back to the ano, to the topic. Uh, friendly budget because I just when 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 the the class will be open again face to face guys a lot a bunch of people will gonna look around and will gonna look for uh, room for rent for the students yeah uh, all the university the big university is located here in Dumaguete city so how many provinces that Dumaguete provinces town by yun yeah if you have 10,000 pesos, only those rich people can afford. So for those uh, looking for like 2,000 pesos, they can't afford for the apartment. So if you have the friendly budget apartment or no, not apartment, boarding house, uh, you will earn not that so many, but you will have a steady income. Unlike that 10,000 pesos or higher, 10,000 plus, um, you will get, not a lot of people will stay on that place. Na, na naintindihan niyo ba ako? <laughs> Ayo, wait lang ha. Asa na ba ako? I think it's a good investment. Oo, it's a good investment. Hello, sis Travel Vlog from Korea Gourds. If I have a good budget, then I'll go for the, for it, the restaurant. Restaurant, guys, you have so many competitors here in Dumaguete already. A lot of people starting to have a restaurant, guys. They haven't realized that it's better to to have, um, what do you call that, apartment or room for rent. Koya Gorge, hello again from Sis Travel Time, Second Harang Eminem Journey. How are you? Gary Sprinkler Repair, hello sir. Good morning. It's been a long, long, long time that I haven't seen you. I hope you are doing okay, your daughter. Thank you so much for being here. Finally uploaded a new video today. You can drop it here. Um, don't feel, ano ha? You can drop it here, guys. Your links. That's okay. Maybe I will do a senior lady. <laughs> Only apartments. No men allowed. It will be stay nice. Okay, that's. Uh, there is also, um, apartments here. Or not really apartment. A uh, sort of like dorm. Pero hindi siya dorm. 
um, only for ladies. That would be unfair because, I mean, there are some men also looking for, but it should be separate because if you're going to mix them, oh my gosh, they were going to fall in love with their neighbor. <laughs> Kuya Gorge, do they have hostel there? Like dorm, like lots of beds? Yes. Yes, Kuya Gord. As what I have said, guys, if you are starting a business like this, <clears throat> uh, you should be prepared that there are different kinds of renters. Good renters, the drug dealer, the renters, and... The alcoholic, you know, the runner, the destroyer, and everything. And, of course, the good renter also. Feel free to connect with Sir Gary, guys. He is from California. Wait. He's a nice man also, guys. Okay. Ayan na siya. Mm. Yeah. And if you are going to some some apartments and lodging house or not not the lodging house guys um let's say boarding house they are not giving rules they have they don't have any rules on their on the premises premises yeah they should put a rules and they should get an information of their tenants. Because if they run away, they have their information, you know, to report the police. If ever they don't pay anything, the lip bills or anything like that. Yeah. Love this channel and awesome host. Gari, thank you so much, Gari. And about what you have said yes the other day, we have a line water uh, coming soon, but it's not yet. Um, it i mean it's not yet done so we're going to to buy those equipments and i just hope you know i just hope that the, the water will reach in our house because it's gonna be like like you know mountain so and the water source is very slow so i don't know if it's gonna be working or i mean it's gonna work or not so we will know once the line will be connected I think a common commune will do good there. Rent is cheap, but you help grow food, take care of animals, and do chores. Everyone helps out. Common will do good here. There, rent is cheap, but you will help grow food. Huh? Take care of animals and do chores. Everyone helps. From Koya Gourds. Wait, 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 now. Oi, Josie Alston. Alston? Good morning. <laughs> I'll go home tomorrow, guys, so I can support you. I know. Uh, somebody asking me here when I go home. I'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow morning or afternoon. Mom Josie, good morning. Miguel up shout out. Good morning. Thumbs up, Sisi Ko. Thank you so much. Kuya Gords. Thank you so much, Kuya Gords. A lot of business owners, business uh, owners here, like they have their lodging house. They have their, uh, speaking of lodging house, guys, there is a foreigner arrested yesterday. It's, um, I was listening to a radio and then he is a retired Marine. Okay. And then he brought this minor minor um what do you call it? i don't know if it's okay to share it here but just kind of like awareness maybe um he brought this 13 year old girl little girl on the lodging house and when they go out this is actually the front desk or the the owner's fault why did they allowing the foreigner bring the minor age inside inside uh, the lodging house lodging house is different from from boarding house lodging house is where you can spend short time like you can do rest you can do whatever you want there for <laughs> short short time only sir Ogi, good morning so he will he got arrested he is a marine resi uh, retired so he was about 50 to 60 something like that 
and um, the police when they came out from the lodge there is a police already outside of the lodging house uh, it happens not that far away from me okay and then the police arrested him and then the child was kind of like very scary and they were investigating they're asking the child what's going on inside it's still a child 13 year old baby girl i mean what the heck why are you doing that to the child you're welcome sis from mom josie mom josie thank you so much for being here sir augie hello from mom josie hello josie sir gary sprinkler thank you so much sir yes boarding house is a good business Sir Ogi, guys, if you wanted to start your business, you can take me as your uh, caretaker. <laughs> yes, I was been managing um boarding house before, so it's pretty um a lot of um things to do when it's end of the year because you need to. You need to know uh, you need to you need you need to renew all your papers the bir the permit something like that mayor's permit bir permit you need to pay a lot of things so yeah sir Ogi, how are you sir Ogi? that's the olympic done sir koya sir koya gourds koya gourds and um you should be careful guys if you are starting that kind of business here to know your tenants because you don't know that you are accepting already a tenants that is a drug dealer so you should pay attention what is um the unnecessary <laughs> actions you know if you will see a lot of much better if you will have a cctv in your apartments it is even a better business here in the states do you have any wars tenants also just like just like um they don't pay anything when they left or they're just gonna run away no but i won't stay up that late <laughs> you can replace that one i guess koya gourds Because over here we have, aside from the drug dealer, we have also um, like the worst one don't want to pay anything and then destroy your 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 um your boarding house things like that. Yes, we have some problem here and people destroying the place, but maybe that's not that worse uh, maybe it's not that worse just like we encounter here sometimes if you are forcing them to pay you're gonna really destroy me mean, mean to destroy your things inside like using a knife and do this especially if you are your your boarding house is just made of like materials plywood hard flakes and things like that they're gonna use a knife to destroy yes because when they left they, you cannot be there to 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 see what they were doing right so the security deposit and then also the cash advance is not that enough to replace to to the wall i mean to paint the wall and to to make the room looks good again because of course you need to prepare the room for the another renters i was thinking an open and halfway house of the ex balloons good money but you have to get approved by the states does renting business in your country guys in the united states you need to get a permit also or you just need to get the insurance over here you can run a business um if you don't caught 
Actually, you don't call. I mean, they won't call you if there is no jealous neighbors, jealous competitors. Of course, if you have a competitors nearby and you will have cheap price for the rooms and then you have no license, uh, no, not the license, you have no permit, of course, they will gonna report you to the BIR. And then the BIR will going to close your area and they were gonna you were just they were just gonna open or you're not you are just allowed to operate again once once you will have those permit so you can actually run if you have no neighbors you have no you have no jealous neighbors things like that <clears throat> that would be a good algae i think you would have to be strict but fair to make it successful uh, there's nothing wrong to be strict guys if you are running a business that's for your security also and i really do understand uh, a lot of tenants complaining why are you requiring for the um what do you call that security deposit why are you requiring that cash deposit or the advance deposit or the cash advance blah 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 things like that cash advance payment advance rent advance so yeah they don't understand and it's a big deal for them they will behave because they don't want to go back to prison this is for ex prisoners and ah okay all right i understand that's your okay and sometimes also uh some tenants here especially for those foreigners lately it's they are getting more like they were gonna rent a place for the foreigners they were gonna rent a place and then they were gonna have like ano tawag dun? cyber bullying no not cyber bullying they were gonna hire some minor age to perform to do have a video chat with the others expert there and making like a phone sex or com sex things like that it happens here too i don't know if she knows that but there is one case that it happens in the in the magetti i just don't uh remember when was that but yeah he was being caught so what he's doing is he was going to give money to those minor age out there and bring him or bring bring her to the apartment and to have a live show cyber crime cyber crime ba yun? so next vlog okay lang ha so, salamat si sa okay like if you're busy guys it's okay i'm just really trying to make my watch hour alive okay because i'm gonna go back to the mountain tomorrow so i don't know when i will be doing ls again many places don't rent to ex prisoners it's hard for them to find a place to live and work yeah you are right about that sir Augie. i mean it doesn't mean that they are from prisoners i mean they are from jail they are bad person right and not all the person who are in jail are really they are doing that thing some of them they are just victims also right so rick's vlog from the poems and song says Ravel vlog hello from Ogi pogi guys again and again if you are busy that's okay um i just really appreciate you thank you for your giving your precious time here with me guys thank you thank you so much hi says travel vlogs how are you how is the beauty doing <laughs> <laughs> that's really hard when i saw this vlog face and i was that's the one that's the dermatologist told me about burning the first layer i guess burning the first layer of your skin because i have so many deep scars and i have acne problem on my face so i consulted the dermatologist and they told me mom we need to undergo this one laser thing and it's gonna be hurt and it's gonna be expensive so i just go back home i can't afford that okay 
It's a good business, I think, Sir Augie. Uh, the prisoners, the prisoners, we know that what they did and they got caught. Sometimes our neighbors, we don't know what they are capable of doing. Yes. Exactly, Koya Gorits. Oh, cool. Acid peel. That's really hurt. That's hurt, guys. My God, after the surgery, after the 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 operation. Oh no, not that surgery, not the operation. After they are doing that, your face will gonna be swollen, really, really hard, and then you will feel the pain after um like an hour. I had a dream about the business where I employed on the former prisoners. So maybe that's a sign that you're gonna start the business, guys. What prisoner are you fearing to? What prisoners are you referring to? Yeah, because there are different kinds of prisoners. Okay, what happened to the apartment nearby? Oh, it's just across the street. It was closed, guys, because um, there is a tenant. It was a high-profile um, drug dealer. Okay. And then that tenants just staying up inside and it was already under surveillance that apartment and then they caught uh they caught them selling drugs so what happened is they closed that apartment already and um what do you call that they have their uh, uh the, the owner will be subject for investigation because obviously you will be involved because that is your apartment if you are the owner so you will be involved so it's not operated yet i don't know what's going on with the business but yeah it was closed because of what happened they point and song good morning from sis travel the one who are released all gay Rob D, hello. First time here? No. Third time, fourth time, I guess. Good morning, Rob D. How are you doing? Hello, Eminem. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you so much for being here, Rob. Everyone is capable of doing something. Ah. Hello, everyone in the chat from Rob D. Just depending on your situations from Augie Pugit. Are you talking about, as what I have said, Sir Augie? Or you are talking about Goya Gorgs? What? It's my first time here. No, this is not your first time, Rob D. I've seen you here for like twice already. Rob D, thank you so much, Rob D. Your girlfriend is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She looks kind. She gives you butterfly. So, Rick's vlog, are you still here? I really thought that it's, it's a snake. <laughs> there. Okay, everyone, I think I'm gonna go na. Thank you so much, everybody. Ha? You look very different. Huh? You look very different, Eminem. What is it? 
you are glowing. <laughs> Do you really know me? Rob? Do you know me? You've seen my girlfriend? Where? We're friends on Facebook. I've seen her. She's beautiful. Yep, she's beautiful. Do what Kuya Gertz was talking about? Ah, okay. Hi, Balot John. Good morning, Balot. How are you, Balot? Sir John, thank you so much for being here, Sir John. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate that. Oh, Balot Jen Baker, I know that your um your wife is a Filipina. Have you guys have um an apartment or a boarding house here? Ah, okay, I see. Yes, I see her. I saw her. She's beautiful, having long hair. <clears throat> They hey haha why did you ask if I know you? Because you said um you look different. <laughs> I don't look different from the day one <laughs> until now. <laughs> so that's why I'm asking, just kidding. Guys, I think I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for being here, guys. So uh I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And again, um I'm really sorry if you did not learn something here on my channel because I was just very busy lately, guys. I'm just doing something. And then, um, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Sir Gary, I don't know if you are still here. Thank you so much. I think I will. Huh? I think, wait, wait. This news thing is pop up everywhere. I think I will Netflix and chill the rest of the night from Sir Abby. Netflix. I'm not really fan of Netflix because I don't have Netflix. <laughs> Have a good trip, um, Thank you, Kuya Gords. Thank you so much. But I wanted to bring that motorcycle actually at the shop. The reason is... Why, why are you annoying? The reason is I wanted that tire will be tubeless because along the way, there's so many brake glasses, like a small pieces of um, glasses. And, you know, the, the mm, there's so many... Um, if you, your tire will be, it's not, I uh, know, tubeless, you will have a problem, especially if there's a long distance, you know. Hey, Ogi Pogi from Robti by Eminence you everyone. Thank you, Robti. Salamat, Robti. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Because if you wanted to leave, that's okay. <sighs> okay that's okay they have some free movies up to m um, if you don't mind the ads ah you mean sometimes i do watch on i uh, know i do watch on youtube there are some movies on youtube actually but it's not that really clear okay it's not that clear as what netflix have mm -mm. Uh, it's not hd it's some of them is just like copyrighted like um you're just taking a video it's not that clear so yeah oh not the jeff good morning not the jeff you're late i'm about to end my live stream <laughs> good morning not the jeff my wife wanted to start a eroding house what's it boarding house but we just built a rice mill for my in-laws that's a good one rice mill um because boarding house is, it's kind of like a lot of process. And I'm not really sure for that, for, for, the, for these days, guys, it's not really sure that you will have a permanent tenants or you will have a, a permanent borders, you know. 
it's possible that it's gonna be empty once the boarding house will be done because first of all the people can't afford second not everyone is working fourth oh third <laughs> third is um it's pandemic time so a lot of people who lost their jobs there's no class for face to face a lot of people staying at home yeah but once everything will be back to normal like um the face to face class will be back again guys that would be a very um good business guys but rice field is a good one too because after a few months you will get your harvest and you can have the rice already you know and if you have plenty you can just sell it rice now is getting high the high, the, the price of the rice that's so nice of you Asher John. like crackle and I don't like this news talaga. It's pop up everywhere. Like Rockel and Tubi and Pluto. Rockel and Tubi and Pluto. Are those cartoons? We might build boarding house, uh, boarding room someday. When? Uh, where? Where? Is that in the Magati? Does your wife from the Magati? I, I, I forgot where is she, but she's from the Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, Augie and John Rob from Sean William. Sean, thank you so much, Sean. If you wanted to find a place, guys, um, for the boarding house, that would be very, um, it should be very convenient to the mall, mall, and then hospital. Okay, hospital, and then also nearby with the, the school the college universities things like that yeah because that's what the tenants or the, the people look for and uh, very convenient where they work hmm. um hey bro augie balochan baker and rob from shine they are movie and tv apps m m i don't know that kind of apps is there any subscription or free the only disadvantage if you have free apps is because you cannot search whatever you want uh whatever movie you want you know so you need to pay for it for the subscription especially netflix john william hey bro and there are some uh, movies also that oh it's free what was that crackle and to be and Pluto, Rockwell. I'll remember that, Sir Agi. Is it requires for a uh, no requires for internet? Sort of. <clears throat> okay. They have big selections of movies. But sir, okay, the thing is, is that available here in the Philippines? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It's available in the Philippines. Guys, thank you. Huh? Thank you so much. My watch hour for now, guys, is really dead. So I need to make it alive. Okay, I'll just gonna find my hair because it's getting hot again. Uh, they have big selections of movie. Guys, for those who are busy out there, you can go. It's okay. Uh, for those staying, thank you so much, guys. Do you have a Google Play Store? If so, if it's in there, I'll try. What was that? 
crackle. Crackle. Oh yeah, you're right. Crackle. It's a free movie. You're right about that, Sarogi. Thank you so much. Oh, the life journey of snow. Hello, good morning, madam. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I was about to end. Thank you so much for being here. How are you, po? What was the other one? Crackles and Crackle and Tubi. 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 I can't find the Tubi, but I, I found the Crackle. Are you Filipino po? Good morning. Good afternoon. Guys, just let me know if you have also content. Huh? I'll 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 support you guys. Okay lang. <laughs> almost 1000 k na guys for those who are not connected with the life journey of snow she is getting ano na she's getting close to 1k na guys i just only have few people sorry guys if i just only have few people here Ah, okay. I think the only available here is the crackle. The rest is not. Okay. Hi, hey, my house made pays for Netflix, so it's free for me. Pays for Netflix. You can use up to how many accounts? I mean, you can. Your friends can use your accounts, right? You can uh, log in the same account. I'm not really knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. I don't have any knowledge about that. But I don't pay Netflix. It's because for me, just wasting of money since I'm I can't use it at the province. We have no internet connection there. Yes, a few. 
Hi, Sir Ogie. Thank you, ha. You're not busy there. It's okay, Sir Ogie. I really appreciate you, Sir Ogie. Oh, okay. With Netflix, you can download the movie and watch it later. Just like an offline. Offline? Hi, Merlin. Okay, I'm going to end the guys. Thank you so much. One and a half hour. Thank you very much, everybody. So, Yogi, thank you so much. The live journey of snow. Thank you so much. Bella Jen Baker, Ocean William, not the Jeff, Rob D. Thank you so much, Rob D. Koya Gords. And everyone else here, guys, thank you so much. It's offline. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Love you all. Actually. Not that really, I know. Bye bye M. Bye Sir Ogi. Thank you so much. Then bakit niya ginaganon? You know what, guys? Facebook is very toxic. Fake informations. People are people are fightings, backbiting other people. Not really healthy anymore. Very toxic. How many times I said bye? <laughs> How many times I said bye? Okay, this is final. Bye, everybody.